Hello. I had some trouble sleeping today, tonight, last night, whatever. So I mean like about 4 30, 5 o'clock I got up and finally fed the cats at 6 and I, I don't know. Coffee's not helping. Anyway, I guess I'm just worried a little bit. It's a gray day, not very pleasant. Although I did go for a walk this morning. That's what I did. I got up and before breakfast I even, I just had some orange juice and I headed out for a walk and got the papers that were today, were out, that were out today. So that was okay. So I've had some exercise. That was pretty good and it felt good. Yeah, so I was reading this article that the CBC had today. And it's about the chemicals that Ottawa's watchdog, or that Ottawa is watching. So they're taking a closer look at 17 substances. Now this is the same, in the same report where the uh, uh, bisphenol, 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 um, the, the baby bottles that are going to be banned because of the bisphenol A. A couple were, they belong to a group of compounds that are found in volatile, low viscosity or thin silicone fluids. So it's found in soap, cleaning compounds, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, polishes, pesticides, paints, lacquers and varnishes not manufactured in Canada, but it's imported. And the other one, same type of stuff that's in personal care products, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, cleaners, as well as inks, textiles, rubbers, and fuel additives. And these are found in the environment. Uh, bioaccumulative uh, can harm aquatic organisms at low concentrations. Now, um, Let's see. So the government has proposed that they be added to schedule number one or schedule one of the CEPA, which means it would be classified as a toxic chemical. So both of them would be classified as a toxic chemical. Um, they go on. Same thing. Okay, that one's phenol two, four, six, tris. Uh, primary fuel and oil additive, not made in this country, but is imported. 98% of it is used in fuel and oil. It's either destroyed by combustion or spewed into the environment. Isn't that wonderful? Um, and that's recommended that it be classified as toxic. There's acid blue 80, which uh, used in preservatives, disinfectants, cosmetic products that intended to come into contact only briefly with the skin, it uh, would be classified as a toxic chemical. And it goes on and on. Now, extract silver and gold from ore, also used in some types of copy paper, um, persists in soil, water, and sediments, but is not considered bioaccumulative believes that it's unlikely to cause harm to aquatic or uh, it would be classified as a toxic chemical. Uh, here, 41,3-butadine, uh, volatile organic alkene chemical used to make products such as medical equipment, toys, tires and paints, inner tubes and some rubber adhesives. It going to be classified as a possible human carcinogen. Again, classified as a toxic chemical. And we're only just doing this. I suppose we, you know, only discovered it, I don't know if it's lately, but my God. And people are still debating whether these things should be banned, not used. Again, um, not made in Canada, but imported into the country. Oxirane, it would be classified as a toxic chemical. This is a 
used to make other chemicals in production, epo epoxy resins, paints, other coatings, structural, structural composites, adhesives, other products, toxic resin, toxic chemical. Oxirane, glycerin, which is an ingredient or processing aid in personal care products, drugs, food, and beverages not made in Canada, imported into the country, it would be classified as a toxic chemical. Wow. Here, something that's uh, acetic acid, ethanol, S, ethanol, ester. I read down here, as a chewing gum base, don't swallow your chewing gum. Production of adhesive and sealants. Just to make all sorts of pig pigments, pigment yellow 34, pigment red 104, toxic chemical. It's just amazing. Um, the stuff that we didn't even know was in our environment. And this is only 17 substances that they're going to classify as dangerous or toxic or whatever. And they're gonna do three batches, uh, a new batch every three months. So this is 17 of how many? Amazing, just unbelievable. This stuff is really scary. We don't know what's happening to our bodies. It's really scary. Who knows the things that are going wrong with our bodies more and more more cancer, diseases, uh, MS, everything that's suddenly more prevalent. What causes these things? Probably what we've been eating, breathing, swimming in. Yeah. But you know, you can't let it, you can't lose sleep over it because there's nothing, well, there is something that we can do, you can do, but you really shouldn't lose sleep over it. Waking hours, leave it to your waking hours. So we have a soccer game today. Now, soccer causes rain, you know that, I'm sure. It's pretty gray out there. It's pretty windy. It's fairly cool. Not raining yet. I'm sure it will start raining when we get there. My daughter really likes it when it rains. And so does my son. Loves playing soccer in the rain. So I guess I shouldn't be complaining because they like it. <clears throat> but they don't have to sit on a chair watching them in the cold and the rain. Oh well, it's fun to watch anyway. So that's what I'll be doing this afternoon. Soccer, Ugh. soccer, 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 causes rain, soccer causes rain. That's the new, that's my motto, soccer causes rain. My whole family, this is the new thing, soccer causes rain. They haven't played a soccer game yet this season where it hasn't rained. So, let's see how it ha how it goes tonight. I can't talk. Obviously, sleep deprivation is causing me to uh, bleh. have a good uh, rest of your weekend. Not much of it left, and.